everybody here, I mean, they've been here for quite a few days. Do you address them as a team now that your position players are supposed to be here? Yeah, we'll, we'll meet tomorrow uh, with, uh, with everyone being here kind of together. And um, the message, uh, that's still uh, TBD. We're kind of uh, in, in light of, you know, what's kind of transpired the last couple of days. But uh, I think first and foremost, just to kind of welcome everyone together, and we've got some new faces, but uh, the goals don't change. How much of that message will be in light of what's happened over the last couple of days? It's, it's time to move on to 2020, or do you just let them figure that out as they go? Yeah, um, I think a little little bit of both. It's just kind of skewing more towards something being said. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I think that for the most part, we have guys that really understand that they have some things that they want to say. Um, but as we get together, we still have to play baseball, and that's the most important thing. Are you surprised, or not, perhaps surprised isn't the right word, but pleased with the way that you've seen kind of Cody mature into a, a vocal leader, not only on the field with what he's doing as far as his play is concerned, but the way that he's handled the Astros situation? Yeah, I am. I am. And I think that obviously being around for a little bit longer and performance certainly uh, adds to the, the confidence and the feeling that you have a voice. Um, and I do think it was well thought out. I, I really do. So um, I support Cody, and we all do. And um, to have a voice, as long as it's kind of well thought out, I've got no problem with it. Did you see the commissioner's statements yesterday? Did you have a thought about what he said about the trophy itself? Um, I, I heard snippets. I didn't see it in, uh, in its entirety. And, um, yeah, that, that's uh, his thoughts. And, and, obviously, he's doing what he feels is best for the game of baseball. And so, you know, I think the great thing about opinions and thoughts is everyone shares a different one. So, um, and I think that, you know, you look at this clubhouse and you look at some other clubhouse, I think that sentiment is different, and, and that's okay. You said thoughts are, are valuable as long as they're well thought out. Is it well thought out for the commissioner of baseball to say that the commissioner's trophy is a piece of metal? Um, I didn't miss, see, uh, fortunately, Pedro, I missed that one. Um, he, said that. he said that one? Um, well, I think that if you look at the uh, context of what, what uh, the, the, it is metal, but um, <laughs> so he, he is accurate, um, but I think that he understands the value and in, in what, it, what it signifies. I, I do think that. Dave, this just keeps brewing and bubbling and getting bigger. What is it that it's going to take to get it to kind of settle down and you guys to get into the season? What has to happen here? Time. I think time and, and people are going to keep, keep dealing with it and until people, you know, and again, it's subjective as far as what answers people feel they're entitled to. Um, but I think that as far as speaking for the Dodgers, um, we're ready to play baseball and, and that's the number one focus and has to be. So yes, we in our camp have said things uh, individually, um, more so than others, some people more than others, but I think that you know, as a fan, fans take things personal, and that's what makes this game great. Uh, but it is a game that certainly has overcome a lot of things, and uh, because of the fans' uh, love for the game of baseball and players. But uh, I hope sooner than later. The commissioner has said he's going to talk to all all the teams about retaliation, some other things. Because the Dodgers are more vocal than other teams, have you talked to the commissioner during these last couple of days? Uh, I have not. But I do know that I think there's something scheduled with the managers here in Arizona to get in front of the commissioner. I think it's uh, it might be tomorrow, so um, one of these next couple of days. Um, so I haven't done that yet. As far as that emotion goes, Dave, with the, there's still an investigation going on under Red Sox in uh, 2018, and um, if something came out, you know, kind of similar to what the Astros is concerned, they had you know, their bench coach went to the game, the, the Red Sox manager. Would you be concerned about the impact on your team, given that you're you know, incorporating a couple of former uh, wrestlers who played on that, that team? Uh, if it comes out, I, I think that we'll, we'll cross that bridge uh, if we get to it. Uh, right now, I, I just really don't feel the value in kind of even entertaining that right now. I really don't because there's still, still ongoing investigations, which I understand will be kind of come to light here in the next 10 days. But um, I don't think it's a benefit for me to even speculate. How's, and sorry, without that, that part of the issue, how's been the process of uh, incorporating those two guys? You know, they're veterans, so they probably find it a little easier than, you know, really young guys. It's been great. David, obviously, with pitch and catches, we've seen a lot more of him. 
Mookie, he's been hard to track down. He's uh, he's uh, in before uh, in and out before I'm even awake. So he's been here and in the cage and out. But we'll see him. I saw him for about 10 seconds this morning, and he was running out of the pitchers' meeting. So um, yeah, we'll see more of him. But I think that all of our guys and we're all excited. I mean, you get two great individuals, great ball players. Um, we're excited to have him uh, wearing this uniform. What time has Mickey been getting here? Like five in the morning. I think so. Yeah, and he's kind of the guy that's the early bird gets the worm type deal. So uh, I'm trying to push the clock back a little bit, but he likes to get in and out. Um, so yeah, I'm still uh, in dream in dream mode at that point in time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, he, he's he's early, early. Dave, when this story broke, it was so big with the fans. I was standing outside the locked Dodger Stadium. You know, we're talking to fans. Just a minute before you say that he doesn't think about the backs are out. You know, he thinks there's more to be revealed. Is that a sentiment? You know, that about that? You know? And and that's that's something that's something, Jorge. Where, I mean, when people feel that you know you're not getting everything, then that's uneasiness and frustration and so I think that the fans and and Justin I think voice that so I, I understand that he also made it clear that he thinks the title should be vacated what's your stance on that um that that yeah I mean that's his thoughts and, and everyone's entitled to that right now honestly Bill I, I can't I really don't even care to speak about it I, I, it's not going to change whether it's you know vacated or not it, it for me it's just I'm just trying to move forward and get past this as quick as I can